or the emotional body, for instance. Um, I'd like to explain, too, that in my experience, there's like two little kids inside of us. There's the one that's been abandoned, maybe received abuse, maybe uh, has gotten its programming at a very uh, high uh, price, okay? And it's the one that is going to be holding the fears and it is the one that's going to be trying to be safe. Then there's this other happy, happy part of us in the spirit of a child who is ready to tell you everything you want to know. It has no hang-ups. It, for my experience, when I see them, they are so happy that they're not only seen but heard because they communicate. Yes. And I'm trying to teach that person to become independent enough that they can do this for themselves mm -hmm. because that little kid has the universe at their fingertips to communicate. Yes. And, this and is, they do. This is why it's so important to instill that in your young people and your children to bless who they yeah. came to be and to give yourself permission to go back and reach that within you. It's not too late. And you can go ahead and bring that back uh, forward and start back on your path. Well, we have uh, probably about uh, three minutes before we're mm -hmm. going to open the floor to, to our studio audience, and I would like to cover just a few more things yes. very quickly. Life would be lived, if you're in a conscious living, it's, life is lived from the present, and the future would be your own design. Yes. The powers of manifestation would be a knowing experience and you are aware of signs and signatures of spiritual guidance. Yes. I want you to understand, uh, the audience to understand, that a knowing experience, again, is in the heart, it's in the solar plexus, yes. and you know that you know, did you know? Yeah. You, you can't argue yeah. with yourself when you yeah. know. Um, your intelligence will develop another language. Mm -hmm. And language of spirit many times is metaphor, symbols, images. And these concepts are so wonderful because many times, you know, we've walked down the street and looked up and saw a double rainbow. And most people would say, you know, that's not a common occurrence. And when it happens, there's this little voice inside of them that says, something special is going on. I wonder what that means. That's a signature. That's mm -hmm. a sign. Mm -hmm. That's a sign. Yeah. Like a, a little ladybug landing yes. and to in learn the to middle of winter, hello. Yes. That's a sign. And to learn to take these incidents and explore what they mean instead of let them go by. Ex understand that it's a message. Understand that it's yeah. communication. And what a blessing it is. And what does that blessing mean to you? Well, one of the tools that people could do is have a piece of paper and pen, and anytime something happens unusual during the day is to, is to take a mm -hmm. note of it. So at the end of the day, they might have two or three things there that they would be able to look back on, and they could sit down and give possibility to. Mm -hmm. I used to hate journaling, but I kept on it, and it's amazing the journey oh. that you're on. You take a look back three or four months, and you see the genesis of where you are today. Exactly. And it is so vital, and it is so informative. I really encourage anybody to do it, even if you can't stand it. Just one line a day, if you have to, until you get into the habit of it. Well, it's also like pulling an inspirational card mm -hmm. to adjust your attitude. Yes. Uh, to me, some of those little cards or inspirational readings can start your day on the right foot. Yes, yes. Even when you're having a difficult yeah. time and don't want to do it, yeah. it's going to be surprising what card yeah. you pull. Helps anchor your day. Helps, but helps. many times it's a signature yeah. and exactly what you need yeah, to read. Give yourself permission yeah. to go that direction. So the intelligence develops yes. another language. And the solutions are seen through these, through these solutions are energetic. Here's another thing. Many times, it's not flat. Like a word, love, is not flat. It vibrates. Yes. You, put it, you put a label on water, it vibrates the water. You know, uh, 
color affects everything. Yes. Everything in life is energy. Yes. Your thoughts are energy. It's all interconnected. It's it all, all interconnected. It all leans on each other and affects each other. Well, it's an int it can be either a non-intentional field, which mm -hmm. most people live in, mm -hmm. or it can be an intentional field. Mm -hmm. That is the field of manifestation. Yes. And it's up to us to take that mantle and take control of that and head on. Like I said, the power of intent cannot be overstated. You can take that driver's seat and take that and manifest in your life that which you are hoping for. It doesn't have to be a wild dream that will never come true. It's within the realm of possibility. How about this? In taking charge of your life, it is to give possibility that there is an intentional field that you yourself are creating from mm -hmm. that can give you wishes, dreams, and desires. Absolutely. And a life partner. Yes. If you really want a partner yes. in your life, yes. you have to do the assessment yes. with inside of yourself yes. because there's a pattern usually yes. operating. And be very specific about what the assessment is, what you want, what you don't want, what your exactly. needs are, what they're not, because you're going to get what you would, what you ask for. So um, it's very important to really look within and analyze yourself and, and feel, put words to the feelings that you're experiencing. Here's another thing, and, and this is my experience. When you decide to take charge of your life, don't expect everybody to run around and say yay and celebrate yes. you. <laughs> In fact, the opposite can often happen yes. because you're changing and you're not normal. What's she doing? It's well, uncomfortable. You for find people. out very quickly who is aligning with you mm -hmm. on your uh, spiritual path. Yes. Uh, you find out who uh, basically might be wanting to sabotage you for yes. their own reasons. Yes. It's not about them. Yes. It's never about them. It's about you taking your power back yeah. and going for that happiness and that joy that yeah. only you can really create yeah. in your life through your choices. Yeah. That mantle is on our shoulders to make of our lives that which we want it to be. It's not going to happen by sitting there letting everybody dictate to you and being blind to your feelings, your inner voice. You've got to take charge and take ownership of it, accountability of it. And with that combined with your, your guidance, your spirituality, the person you came to be, you're going to get to be 95 and say, yes, that was a good run. I think you start out with faith. Mm -hmm. And then you focus on the intention, and in that intention, you give possibilities. It's mm -hmm. like a bridge. Yes. And possibilities are not a line that goes out like this. Possibilities go out like this. And something in those possibilities grabs right here and says, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. That rings true. That resonates within me. I'm going that way. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And yeah. listening to that voice, being open to that voice, being open to taking the action. Okay, I've gotten the message. What am I going to do with it? Am I going to ignore it, continue on the path I've always been? Same old, That same hasn't old. worked for me so far. Same old, Why same Why will it work for me in the future? Yeah. Take that opportunity and make those changes. People spend years staying, mm -hmm. standing in the same yeah. place, making a deeper and deeper yeah. impression until they decide that they want yeah. to change direction. Sometimes the fear of the unknown outweighs the benefits that they can possibly see. And that's so sad when that happens and you're limiting yourself to the happiness that's within your reach. All you have to do is work for it and go for it. There's nothing stopping you except yourself. Well, uh, people don't believe that they have unlimited potential. Yes. And I can tell you from someone who grew up dyslexic, <laughs> I, I have gone beyond uh, what I thought I would ever do from the time I was a teenager till I was in my 20s, even 30s. Uh -huh. I mean, there's so many things that I've done in my life that I never dreamed that yeah. I would do, yeah. but I always had the faith to jump yes. knowing that I would have wind underneath my wings yes. and that, uh, in fact, spirit would be there yes. to catch me. And yeah. people have said to me, how 
can you jump as many times as you've jumped? And it really boils down to, I don't doubt that spirit's yeah. there. I know, know that it. spirit's there. And that gives me the comfort yeah. to take the fear and just yep. do this. It's that deep and knowing. And take action. Yeah. And take the action. It's that deep knowing and accepting of that knowing. It's not a matter of I hope, I will, I'll have faith, maybe, I know. You know this that you is know. Real. Yeah. Okay. You know that you know. Well, I think we did a pretty good job on covering so. taking charge yes. of your life, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. I hope we had some insights that would help people. Yes, and I'm hoping that, you know, maybe the studio audience yes, yes. Uh, might have some questions around that. Hope we can answer them. <laughs> and we're going to go to the audience. And hi there, what's your name? Hi. It's Mike, and my question, just in general, what do you see in general for me? I'll make it very easy for you. In general. Well, I know you pretty well, and I'm going to let Kathleen go first, and then I'll chip in on that. You're going to be seeing a major change in two to four years, major change in uh, what your activities are, your daily activities, possibly a major change in location. Um, it's going to open your eyes to some things that, that haven't been opened up until this point. Um, it's going to be uncomfortable at first, but um, once you get in there, you're going to start seeing possibilities that you haven't seen up till now. So it's going to be a blessing. So hang in there, use that faith we were talking about, and uh, go for it. I see you traveling. I, I just saw a stamp being stamped, mm -hmm. uh, stamps in your uh, passport, for one. Two, th there's this uh, beautiful blue that's sort of like over the top of you um, that tells me that whatever changes that are coming, you don't have to be afraid of no. them. No. There's something that may stabilize you even more in your yeah. life. Yeah. You know, you hold yourself back many times yes. from mm -hmm. self-expression because you're really creative yeah. you know, on many, many, many levels. Yeah. And I think you need more of that creation around you and mostly fun. Yes. You know, the, the most deepest healing we can have outside of being hit by a lightning bolt of love is also laughter. Yeah. Laughter is very, very potent. So I would suggest if you want to really wonderful energizing experience rent a funny funny movie that really gets you yeah. okay. you're ready to bloom you're ready to burst out and bloom it's just going to take some changes that are going to make that uh, almost forced and you're going to go with it and you're going to wonder why in the world didn't you do this sooner you're going to you're going to enjoy your next next few years okay hi hi thank you for this opportunity you're welcome what's your name uh, i'm Joni. Hey, Joni. Um, I'm a naturopathic physician. I'm an energetic practitioner and a light worker. And I'm in the middle of a, a sabbatical right now. I feel a shift coming in my work. And um, I, I was very interesting to come tonight and hear this topic. It was very timely. And I guess my question is, you know, staying with the divine and letting the divine show me the way, um, do you have any suggestions that will allow me to explore. I, I wanted to see the reasons for the sabbatical because you're so talented. Well, thank you. <laughs> now you're more gifted than you give yourself credit for. Um, you lose sight of, of that self-validation, although you get validated. Oh, thank you very much, over the top of your head. Yeah, you don't take I, it. I want you to take what I'm going to say to you seriously. 